What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the cooliest, grooviest content on the site, well, you've come to the right place. Let me tell you something about myself. I like me a good tabletop game. I like wargaming, you know, Warhammer 40k. I've dipped my toes into Wasteland Warfare recently, and as far as tabletop RPGs go, I'll play Dungeons and Dragons with some friends every so often. I can't really say I'm that invested into tabletop RPGs, but you know I like them all the same. Regardless, I'm into this whole tabletop scene. I think it's pretty neat, the concept of having a whole new world on your table. It really is something. So when I found out about a game called, uh thirsty sword lesbian some sort of queer tabletop game and don't get mad at me for phrasing it like that that's pretty much how it's marketed you know i just had to look into it first glance i thought it was some sort of joke game a game you'd get for a nerdy friend as a gag gift or something like that but no it seems that this is a legitimate game that the creators want people to actually play the reason such a game came to my attention was because of a screenshot i found on my twitter timeline this comes from the creators of the game uh, there's no such thing as an apolitical game. Well, let me interject right here. I could see that line of reasoning if you're hyper fixated on politics and feel the need to insert it into anything you consume. I mean, sure, you could make a game like Mario Kart or Just Dance Political, but I mean, that would just be a reach. The only reason I consider a game to be political is if they're offering political commentary, subtle or blunt. That's just how I see it. Honestly, I don't get people who hyper fixate on politics and have to insert it in every facet of their life. I mean, some media is made solely for escapism from that side of life. Those type of people just don't seem fun at parties, you ask me. Reminder that if you don't like our politics, don't buy our games. We literally don't want or need your money. The get woke, go broke mantra is pure bull. Now look, if I was say a Catholic right-winged Republican looking for a fun old tabletop to play with my friends, why would I choose to get a game called Thirsty Sword Lesbians? Like what, do you think I'd be wanting to play your game in the first place? As far as the part with going woke, going broke, well, there are times where it's proven itself to be correct in my opinion. I mean, Battlefield 5 is, is probably one such example, a game criticized for its less than accurate approach to World War II in favor of political correctness, and its initial sales not only failed to meet expectations, but caused a huge crash in EA stock. The game did manage to turn a profit, but it was a sluggish progression. No fascists or bigots allowed. Again, it brings me back to asking why a fascist or a bigot would even think of buying a game like this. To play, uh, thirsty sword lesbians, you must, and you know, it goes down a list, support racial liberation, transgender, people of color, you know, that sort of stuff. And like, what if, and keep in mind this is all jokes, but what if I'm a Nazi clansman, huh? What's stopping me from buying your game and bastardizing it? What, are you running all of your customers through a background check? Do I gotta provide ID to play your game or something? Like, jeez. So I looked into the game some more, and honestly, there ain't really much I have to say about it. Although this part kind of amuses me. Uh, in this book, you'll find flirting, sword fighting, and zingers in a game designed Designed for both narrative drama and player safety. Like, player safety? Huh? It's a tabletop game. The worst that'll happen is you get a paper cut. <laughs> player safety. I'm telling you, what a world, what a world. Now, nah, interestingly, the guys who made this game, Evil Hat Productions, have a lot of products under their belt, all of which were crowdfunded. From what I've seen, these guys are making absolute bank on Kickstarter, so I guess I can't say that they're failing at what they're trying to do. That being said, you'd think if these games were successful, they wouldn't have to crowdfund them. They could just take the profit from one game and put it into another. That or they're just using the money to line their pockets. Though to be fair, I ain't the business type, but honestly I can't see any other possibility. So yeah, from my perspective, this game looks dumb. My first thought when I saw it was that it was some sort of joke game. My second was that it was some sort of weird sexual tabletop experience. I don't even want to think about how that would work. I don't know, it just looks dumb to me. And it seems like the people who made it should go to the loony bin if I'm being honest. But if this is really what people want to play, well, I ain't one to judge. Although I am a commentator, so judging is what I do. That's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you, thank you very much.